was watching this guy on YouTube. He's talking about the LIBOR, more capitalists fail. It's a communist. And, um, he made mention of uh, there being a $453 million settlement of Barclays Bank of their LIBOR scandal with the um, the U.S. federal regulators. You know, they apparently um, you know, they um, they find Barclays Bank four hundred and fifty three million dollars, which it seems to me is uh, it's a slap on the wrist. You know, um, they they ran this scam since two thousand and five. That it's been known that they ran this scam. These banks they make hundreds of billions of dollars you know, yeah like in a decade or so you know they they uh, they rake in you know some hundreds of billions of dollars and so to pay a hundred million dollar settlement you know fine on a hundred billions of dollars of your know, income that's like you know you do some criminality that you make a hundred dollars on and then they make you pay a dollar fine so, is that going to stop you from doing that criminality? Nope. You know, you'd be like, okay, you know, let me know next week. I'll, you know, I'll pay you another dollar. You know, and you just keep running the same scam. So, I went out here and uh, was doing some more research on um, rigging LIBOR cost investors billions I did a bunch of search terms looking for information uh, 453 million LIBOR settlement Barclay slap on wrist um, eventually I, I came to this article which is uh, assessing the costs and rewards of the LIBOR rate rigging scandal by David Dayan this is on uh, firedoglake.com in their news section Anyhow, they uh, they pointed me to some victims of of this whole situation, which is everybody who lives in a city in the United States. Which you know, it's been in the news recently that you know cities they're going bankrupt, that yeah they uh, they're not able to pay their bills, and so they're having to like pay their fire and police departments minimum wage, and you know all this kinds of craziness. They're like laying off everybody, but um. Yeah, I don't know, somewhere in here, they, they say uh, municipal, um, I guess I'll do a, a search for municipal on this page. Okay, here it was. Uh, and we've already gone over how interest rate swaps from municipal governments would be affected. And um, so uh, I hadn't read this this earlier article. I, I was completely unaware of this blog before today, and so I decided I would go find their uh, their article on municipal municipal governments being ripped off by this LIBOR scandal. And this is what they have to say: uh, municipal governments seek damages in LIBOR scandal. Apparently, the municipal governments, the, the city governments of the United States of America, they are suing the banks over this LIBOR scandal that they got ripped off. These, uh, essentially what happened is these banksters, they, they rigged the rates. They, uh, because of the extra money that they took in, they paid themselves massive bonuses, which went to uh, about 20 people per bank. There's 12 banks involved. That's, um, it's like, what, 240 people or so, that 240 people on Earth made million-dollar bonuses while their banks ripped off billions of dollars from the people that they were selling uh, their hokey instruments to, and then... The, the federal regulators, they find these people uh, like a percent of what it was that they ripped off. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I was trying to skip to where in this article is like something 
you know, that highlights the the extent of the devastation. Oh, um, Liber was just a manifestation of this ripoff, which cost cities as much as three million for every one billion in bonds. And cities will absolutely jump on this, uh, the, the lawsuit, which amounts to hundreds of billions in bond value. They're saying that the, the ripoff was hundreds of billions of dollars. They ripped off hundreds of billions of dollars, and now uh, one of these 12 banks has been made to pay hundreds of millions of dollars. You know, which is, you know, if you know, like, the difference between millions and billions, you know that's times a thousand. It's a thousand times less what it was that they were made to pay as opposed to what they ripped off. So, you know, it, it's more akin, like, to, like, uh, you steal a thousand dollars and then the government finds you a dollar. That's, that's what happened here. And, uh, you know, it's like a lot of these major media websites out here. They're, they're reporting this as like some major win for, you know, uh, I don't know, the, the consumers of the products of the, of the major banksters. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I wanted to go even one further than this. And uh, I wanted to go out here and I wanted to find what the, the total value of the municipal bond market is. The cities of America, you know, what, what it is that they, um, you know, that they have, uh, I don't know, they, that people invest through them. You know, that, that people buy municipal bonds, you know, that, uh, that sends money to, uh, like, the cities and... Um, you know these uh, the banksters. What they did with their with their rate rigging is uh, they set the rates that like uh, the the rates were improperly set. That they um, they they would inflate the rates so that they could take more money out of the bond system. So the the um, I don't know people they weren't able to put so much of their money into into the cities. The money was instead going into the bank's coffers, and uh, like the 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 rates that they they were being given on these municipal bonds did not match what the rates were for uh, for the age, you know, for the day, for the day in which the yeah the um the, that this was being set, like uh like uh, you know the U.S. Uh, Fed, you know, they would have the rates set one way. And these people, uh, you know, making these rates on LIBOR or whatever, they would set them a different way, you know, and they would set them in such a way that they were able to extract cash into their own coffers. Cash that would have been going to either the people who bought the bonds or it would be going into the cities or, you know, it, it would be in somebody else's pocket other than the banks that were ripping people off with the interest rates. Anyhow, this is this is what they say the uh, the bond value or uh, the municipal bond market. The entire the entire municipal bond market last year was three trillion dollars, according to Federal Reserve figures. So now, if you know the difference between like billions and trillions, you know that trillions are a thousand times billions. So. You know, uh, three trillion dollars. They made hundreds of billions of dollars by their ripoff scandal, and then they paid hundreds of millions of dollars. Which means, for every thousand dollars they stole, they had to pay a dollar back. How is that going to dissuade them from continuing their ripoff? <sighs> yeah, right.